In this lesson, you're going to learn how to do two very important things. First, how to turn your EV3 on and off. And second, how to hook up your EV3 to your computer. So let's start by learning how to turn your EV3 on and off. To turn your EV3 on, press the dark gray button. You'll have to hold it down for half a second or so until the red glow appears behind the buttons. Once you do that, you'll see the message starting appearing on the screen, and then you just need to sit back and wait. This wait seems incredibly long, but eventually it'll be ready. You'll hear those tones, unless someone has changed your volume settings. The red glow behind the buttons changes to green, and the screen display changes. The EV3 will eventually turn itself off automatically if you leave it on for long enough, but most of the time you'll want to turn it off yourself. To turn off the EV3 right after turning it on, do the following. First, press this button in the top left corner once. That circle with a line kind of power symbol appears on the screen. And this check mark and X. Initially, the X is colored in, which means no, don't turn off the power. You should press this right rounded button once so that you select the check mark, and then press the dark gray button once. You'll see it says shutting down. If you've done anything other than just power the EV3 on, you may have to press that top left corner button multiple times before the power symbol icon shows up on the screen. But if you just keep pressing this top left corner button, eventually you'll see that power symbol. And then you can select the check mark and press the middle button. In future lessons, we'll learn a lot more about the EV3 and its buttons. For now, all you need to be able to do is turn it on and off. Okay, so now let's talk about connecting your EV3 to your computer. The physical part of connecting your EV3 to your computer is really very easy. As long as you remember that you want to plug the smaller end of the USB cable into your EV3. It's really important to remember this because the EV3 actually has two USB ports. The one you want to use is the mini USB port that's located up here at the top of the brick. It's labeled PC and it's next to the ABCD ports. Even though it's labeled PC, this is the port that you use to connect to both Mac and Windows computers. On the side of the brick, there's another regular sized USB port that has other uses that we're not going to cover in this class. When you insert the smaller end of the cable into that USB port, don't worry that there seems to be a teeny bit of room here. It doesn't seem to go in all the way. That's actually by design and you don't need to worry about it. Most of the order that you do things here isn't really critical, but here's the order I usually use. First, start the software on your computer. Then, turn on your EV3 and plug the smaller end of the USB cable into your EV3. Finally, plug the other end of your USB cable into the computer. The first time that you plug your EV3 into a computer that hasn't ever been connected to an EV3 before, your computer will have to install the EV3's drivers. This should happen automatically. Your computer may or may not tell you what it's doing. The catch is that it may take several minutes and you just have to sit back and wait. So, how do you know when it's done? Well, you need to have really good vision. Take a look at the top right corner up here of the uh, EV3 screen. When I plug in my USB cable, do you see now tiny, tiny letters? You see the letters USB, very tiny print. Let me unplug, it'll go away. And let me plug back in, it should come back. There you go. If you see those letters, all is well. If your EV3 hasn't connected, double check the following. First, make sure your EV3 is powered on and the buttons are glowing green. 
Next, make sure that the smaller end of the USB cable is plugged into the port labeled PC on your EV3 brick, and the other end is plugged into your computer. Finally, sit back and wait a couple minutes. If you find that your EV3 doesn't connect after you've done all these checks and you've waited a little longer, then it's time to call LEGO Support. You can find links to LEGO Support on our resources page. Once you've confirmed that your EV3 is connected, you're ready to do the firmware upgrade that we'll discuss in the next lesson. If you're planning on continuing to the next lesson now, then you can just leave your EV3 turned on, leave your software up on your computer, and keep your EV3 and computer connected with the USB cable.